October 4th. After a highly successful opening day, spirits were high as I climbed into my tree stand for an afternoon sit. Action was slow, however, consisting of one fawn that ran through directly beneath me before my camera was set up in this doe. I have the option to purchase more doe licenses, but decided to hold off in order to force myself to focus on filling my buck tags. October 9th. I decided to change things up and push farther into the property. The wind was perfect for a ground setup in an area we call the Thorn Apples. This area sits on the prime travel corridor through the property. Trail cameras here get more pictures than anywhere else we have ever put them. Turkeys also roam the property in abundance. Michigan has a fall turkey season that allows for the taking of toms or hens. Most days I would be happy to reduce their numbers, but on this day, with a perfect wind, I was focused solely on killing a buck. The turkeys didn't make it easy though. At less than 10 yards, it was awfully tempting. Over the last four years, every deer that I have seen moving through this area in the evening comes through from the northwest or west, with west being directly to my right side for this setup. This night, deer came in from the south directly behind me. As the light was fading and I was at ground level, I believe the glow from my camera screens was spooking the deer. I was tucked up against the branches of a blowdown tree, so my outline should have been broken up very well, especially from their perspective but it's a lot harder to hide lights in the dark. Two does decided it wasn't worth staying around, but this small buck and a spike that I never got on camera hung around until shooting light faded before moving through. I packed it up for the night, encouraged by the encounter. 